This is a very interesting story. And for I, I just want to talk about it for two reasons. First of all, I don't know how many times uh, you need to be told, never go to a country unless you know the rules. Okay? Unless you know the rules in that said country, please don't go there. Because first of all, do you know there are some Muslim countries that will paint your legs? When you go there with that high, hot mama uh, dookie shorts on and booty shorts, whatever you call them, do you realize that in some countries, if you decided or you got stranded or something happened and you had to cross paths and you had that crap on that you get away with in America, uh, they would take you to be painted and flogged as a woman. Oh Lord, have mercy! So this woman from Texas, she's really found herself in a, a pothole of of um, hot water, basically. So this story is by the inside, okay? And this is what they claim and say about uh, her name is. Tierra Allen. She's been stuck in Dubai since April. A Texas woman can't leave the United Arab Immigrants after she was accused of violating vague law criminalizing offensive behavior. Staff at the rental car company reported that Tierra Allen, 25, uh, they reported her to authorities after an argument. The rental car company says she was demanding large sums of money. I mean, no, I'm sorry. The rental car was demanding large sums of money to return her passport and her phone, which is an unknown scam, which is a known scam. Okay? A Texas woman who is now prohibited from leaving the United Arab Emirates after a man filed a legal case against her for screaming, may actually be the victim of an elaborate scam. You hear that? So that's what they're doing to y'all now when you come over there, uh, especially if you uh, black women or women that like to show their body parts and think it thinks the uh, uh, tits and ass is everything. They blow them up and put all kinds of cement and fix a flat in their behinds and in their breasts. And, you know, then they want to go over to other places with the madness. See, it's bad enough that America allows you to do all this crazy kind of stuff and you like it and you do it. It's a sad state of affairs for us, as I said, stated on many occasions. Anyway, Tierra Allen was riding in a rental car as a passenger in Dubai on April 28, April now, when the driver, a friend from Nigeria, got into a minor fender bend. And this is what uh, Allen's mother, Tina Baxter, said. This is her uh, account. Allen told her mother that she was briefly handcuffed when local police arrived at the scene. The car, meanwhile, was towed back to the rental car company with her personal belongings in there, including her phone, her wallet, and her passport. When she was released, she was then released, and police told her to go to the car company to, 
fetch her belongings. Right. She went to the rental company, the name of which the U.S. consulate in Dubai advised the family not to publicize her, to get her stuff. Did you hear that? They said, the, the consulate said, don't even, uh, I'm going to advise you not to publicize the name of the business because if you do, we're going to probably cause further harm to your family members. Anyway, to get her stuff, its staff demanded thousands of dollars in return. An argument followed, and Alan says the staffers goaded her into yelling. An employee at the rental car company then opened a case against Alan for violating a broadly defined law in the Arab Emirates that criminalizes things like swearing, rudeness, and insulting guests. She didn't get arrested for the incident, the accident, I mean. Check this out. That's what's so insane. She got arrested for going to the rental car company asking for her items back. That they were left in the car when they opened the case. She became the main target when they realized she was a U.S. citizen. What you gonna do about that? It's amazing to me that, um, and I'm gonna go off the subject a little bit. Nobody wanna mess with them United Arab Emirates, right? You ain't not going over there trying to make them uh, do gay pride. You're not going over there trying to, no matter what I feel about uh, people's choices and their lifestyle, I noticed that America only deal with people or countries they think they can push over. Like they want to go to Africa and uh, push this madness on them, but you're not doing anything to these United Arab Emirates. I ain't heard nobody in any kind of political high office make any incident. She didn't get arrested. She became, um, uh, because of the accident, she became a main target when they realized she was a U.S. citizen. Rada Sterling, a UK-based human rights advocate who runs the organization called Detained in, Detained in Dubai that gives legal assistance to foreigners in the United Arab Emirates. And they told the insider that Alan's story is something that she has seen before. As a matter of fact, she has seen it multiple times. I just had three Americans in the past couple of months who said they were pretty much in the same situation. They ended up paying $20,000. Listen to me. They ended up paying $20,000 that they didn't owe to a rental car company just to get their damn passports back so they could go home. Sterling, who is helping Alan, said that she has right only now uh, that she has right now only been charged. So as a result, she can't leave the country. Even if she was allowed, she doesn't have her passport, which Sterling believes is now in the police custody. She is otherwise mostly holed up in an Airbnb using a replacement phone to talk to her mother and Sterling. If the police choose to prosecute, they can take, oh my God, that in itself can take four to six months. She already been there since April. Three, maybe longer, until she gets a court date. In the worst case scenario, if she is prosecuted and convicted, she could be looking at up to two years in prison. Y'all hear that? This is insane. I don't know if anybody wouldn't have been yelling in that circumstance, in that situation, with somebody telling you you got to go and pay uh, some money to get your stuff back. It's insane. 
That's insane. Allen has gone to the police and returned to the rental agency multiple times to try to resolve the ordeal, even offering to pay some of the money demanded by the rental company. When she did that, however, employees only increased the amount. There were also fraudulent charges on the credit card Allen had left in the car. Damn, according to the uh, bank screenshots seen by the insider. So they just using her card. Y'all don't get enough from going over there to the buy. You don't get enough. You see nobody. Listen, ain't too many places the son of man can lay his head. I am definitely not doing well. It's been very rough, Baxter, who also lives in the Houston area, told the insider. She said, I'm just trying to stay strong for her. That's her mother. Baxter said she was working to help her daughter, but was conscious that she could make things worse as she raises awareness of her daughter's case. She said that she was being careful not to say anything that might offend the United Arab Emirates government or the authorities in Dubai. This is shit. People just think she's uh, some screaming monster when she's a very soft-spoken young lady. Baxter said, and I, I want to make sure I apologize, especially if it seems as if I'm uh, prejudging the lady because I don't know her. And like I said, if it was me, I probably would have uh, been upset. But I would have known the laws in that country, and I would have knew, first of all, that ladies don't scream. As a female, you are so inhibited in the Muslim countries that... um. I never cared for him. Once my dad told me that I would get my legs painted. Okay. Um, it's just something I thought that was just a little bit too damn far. I think that they, they take their uh, ritual, in my, or my, this is my opinion, way too far. Just like their religious zealots in a lot of these countries. She was only pushed to the edge to respond back after she was afraid of being extorted for money and misled. Baxter debated starting a, a fundraiser on GoFundMe, but Sterling said it could backfire. In a sense, doing that perpetuates this common issue, perpetuates the extortion scam that is so prevalent in the United States. Arab Emirates, like it is in Nigeria. Well, instead, the family has contacted lawmakers in Allen's home state of Texas for help. And including that's including uh, Representative Sheila Jackson Lee and Senator Ted Cruz. We're hoping that that's going to transition to ambassadorial help and diplomatic assistance in the UAE and that she should be sent home soon, Sterling told Insider. The U.S. consulate in Dubai told Insider it does not comment on consular cases. In a statement, Cruz's office said it had made inquiries about Allen's situation. We have spoken to the family of Tierra Young Allen and have contacted the Department of State about the case, a spokesman from the Senator's office told Insider. Senator Cruz will continue to gather details and engage on this case until Mrs. Allen is returned home to her family. Wow. April 28th, y'all. This lady has been stuck in the body. And that has got to be a scary situation. It has got to be a scary situation. My heart and my prayers go out to her and the Baxter family. And I pray that your daughter may have a, uh, uh, a return safely back to America. 
But I suggest too that you do everything in the guideline to keep her safe. safe. And now it seems like most of your work got to be done with the coffee. I mean, because this has gone way too far. Since April? I don't know, y'all. Maybe it's me. What y'all think? Y'all think she should be uh, uh, punished? Uh, now that we recognize that this is a scam that they do, it's just not her over there wilding out like a lot of us thought. And she was over there with bad behavior because that's the way the story was presented at first. So what do you think? Yeah, she should be allowed to come home ASAP or wait for a damn trial or may spend two years possibly in jail. I can't. I want to know what y'all think about it. Please leave your comment. If you like what you hear, subscribe and share the channel. And I'm going to see you in the next video.